In today's video, we are playing your Roblox games. This is the series where I give suggestions for improvement inside of your own Roblox games, so that way you can make your own Roblox games even better. So the first game we have is called Zombie Master by, I don't even know how to pronounce this guy's name, so I'm not even going to try, but if you can, you can definitely leave a comment saying how you did that. And it seems right off the bat, we have a very professional looking loading screen, which is very nice. I think I would move this circle up a little bit so it's more centered up here instead of right above the text but that's just personal preference i think so now we start off with a pistol which i'll admit is pretty well made it looks like it's very nice let's go down the stairs and see if we can find some zombies now i accidentally crouched and it doesn't appear that i can actually stand up again which is unfortunate so that could definitely be a problem so getting into the first suggestion for what we can improve i think it would be really cool if you had some ammo crates that drop because right now i keep on running out of ammo and then you have to reset your character just to get more ammo and it's a very tedious process so I think just having some ammo crates either already on the ground or maybe having some that drop from zombies could be really cool for an update. And adding on to that idea, you could also do the same thing with guns where you have guns that can drop from these zombies. And then last but not least, I think I would add some sort of revive system or at least a death system where if you die, you can't just play again until you do something such as having to revive yourself or having a friend revive you or in this case you die and you just spectate and go right back to the lobby maybe because otherwise you can just keep on resetting and dying an infinite amount of times and there's really no point to surviving i think ammo boxes would be pretty cool i think having more guns would be cool I think having some sort of death system would be pretty cool. And then maybe even some Easter eggs. I don't know if you've ever played like Call of Duty Black Ops Zombies before, but that one was a pretty cool game. It's got lots of Easter eggs, lots of cool features that you can definitely implement into your own game. But the game still is in an early beta stage, so I'm not going to make too harsh of an opinion just yet overall i think i will give this game about a four out of ten in its current state but it definitely has the potential to be a pretty cool game the next game we have is one that i've already done before on the channel but when i played it the game was in a bit of a broken state i'm going to be playing it again and in case you didn't know already this game is called fruit tower defense by the zegget group i already have a little man right here he's called banana man also has a nickname of peely mcpeel face so we're going to equip him and now we should be able to go ahead and teleport inside of a game so i'm personally going to be voting for the forest i think that's a very nice looking map but all three do look pretty cool especially this little lobby right here i like how you did that so adding on to the lobby i think it'd be cool if you add like a little x button or so where you can turn off the voting gui right here once you have already voted and then you can add things inside of the lobby such as an obby or something like that so it looks like the breadmen are trying to reach my base over here and all my Peely McPeel faces or banana men have to try and defend against them. I can't think of anything that has to do with the scripting itself that could be redone. I do think the UI could use a bit of an upgrade. It does definitely look a little old. One thing I've noticed though is that the milk zombies seem to do damage to you if you like stand in their way. I guess it's cool but if that wasn't intended that that definitely could be a fix. So definitely does seem like the upgrades are worth it. Looks like he's a little bit bigger now. He's got a much better sword. As you can see, it over doubled his amount of damage. It upped his range by one. And it looks like it lowered his cooldown, which is pretty immaculate, actually. Uh, this is a whole lot of sandwich men, so we'll see if we can get past this one. But as I was saying before, work on the UI... You could probably improve the maps a little bit, but ultimately it's not the main focus of the game, so I wouldn't worry about that too much. But yeah, I think I'm going to give this game probably an 8 out of 10 in all honesty. It is very fun to play. So it's got some very unique towers, very unique enemies as well. So this GUI is right here because I won, but over on the side right here you can see how I have all these fully upgraded banana men right here that are right next to the end. I think it makes it way too easy when they're all able to be right next to each other, so you could definitely make it so that you're only able to space them out a certain amount, such as they can only be four studs away from each other instead of being able to be placed so close together, if that makes sense. 
The next game is called Icker and Bronze by, once again, I have no clue how to pronounce this person's name, unfortunately. And joining the game, it looks like it has a little bit more to load, so I'm going to go ahead and let it do that, and I'll report back to you guys once this is fully loaded in. So it looks like the game is fully loaded in now, and it looks like I am a soldier of some sort. I really like the body armor that it looks like you have. And I really like the animations. The game does look to be very well made. And overall the aesthetic is just very cool. I do happen to have a few different tools. Such as this match lock it looks like. And just standing here has a nice little idle animation. But if I go into first person you'll see I am actually able to aim my weapon. And I can even shoot it if I would like to. Which is pretty cool. However you'll notice that when I go to reload it. It actually has a really really cool loading animation. You can see he pushes the gunpowder down inside of here. And then puts it right back inside of his gun. So you can see it has a very, very cool reloading animation. Once that's done, it goes back to his side. So that is an incredibly well-made gun right there. I also happen to have a saber, which I can use to attack as well. I also happen to have a spyglass, which I can use to look at whatever I would like to. Now, this game is a multiplayer game, and unfortunately, I do not happen to have anybody to play with at the moment. However, I think this would be an incredibly delightful game to play with friends. The animations are very well made. The scripting is very polished. The builds are nice. And the Aesthetics and lighting are very pleasing to the eye. So overall, I cannot complain about this game whatsoever, and I cannot think of anything to improve at the moment. Maybe adding some sort of single player game mode would be pretty cool, where you can just shoot at dummies to test out your aim and the damage of your weapons. Maybe also having some sort of story mode could be cool. Or you happen to have a campaign you could go down. Those are the only ideas that I'm having at the moment. So I think I'm going to have to rate this game a 10 out of 10 game in all honesty. That is my rating. Feel free to play the game down in the description below. And you can give your own rating if you would like to. But as for me, I think that's going to be where I have to end today's video. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video just as much as I did, please make sure you like, subscribe, and comment down below. And I will see you in the next video. Bye.